Now let's pull it all the way out. Pull it all the way out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pull it all the way out. <laughs> yeah, dude. If you know about my last trip to Australia, you know it was crazy. But this trip is on another level. The very first hotel we stayed in, I messed around with these benches, got up on the roof, and I was like, back to my roots, baby. Our buddy Vinny was not allowed on the last Australia trip because he's a felon. He's done time in prison. And when he went into prison, he put a bunch of stuff up his butt. Enough heroin to last me two weeks, some rolling tobacco, the zigzag papers, yep. and, uh, um, and a hypodermic needle. And we got Vinny into Australia for this trip and celebrated by having him do a demonstration of the prison pocket. We have five Skittles, four sheets of paper, three AAA batteries, two espresso pods, uh -huh. and we've got one pen <laughs> representing, representing the needle. needle. That's pretty on point. That's like the size of my bowl. And after he got done wrapping it all up, the thing was like huge. Who would have thought that would get so big? I did. We had a $120 shopping bill. <laughs> <laughs> There's gotta be a pretty good chance that just doesn't even fit, right? <laughs> do you want me to do it instead? Yeah, I'm not letting you steal this thumb. <laughs> and we can't show this on YouTube, but I verified it went right up his butt. You wanna FaceTime your girl? No. <laughs> and then we went bowling. Crushed everybody with a convenience store up his ass. <laughs> the next day, we took him to the hospital where he explained what was going on. I'm on tour with Steve-O from Jackass. I have stuff up my butt. <laughs> and it wasn't cheap, but we got him an x-ray. And you can see the whole outline of that package. Amazing. And after we got the x-ray, we went to the venue. Vinny pooped it out. Oh, it came out! Oh, I did? It came out! Wow, that's sick. Nice. Thank fucking God! Unwrapped everything, ate the Skittles. Down the hatch. <laughs> drank the coffee, wrote a four-page note to his mom, and then we put the three AAA batteries into a scale we asked a fan to bring to the venue. 82.2. Okay. 132. 2. The weight loss journey starts after this. <laughs> <laughs> On our last trip to Australia, I gave this Simpsons tattoo to my buddy Latham, which is epic because an actual dude who draws the Simpsons made it. But I only did the outline last time, so I came back to fill in the color. And while I was tattooing Latham, he brought up the fact that we had discussed maybe helping him get some action with the ladies. Did we talk about getting your dick sucked on that podcast? Yeah. And, and we failed to do that? Well, I had one guy offer me in Canada. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, well, you know. Vinny, are you on it? We're going to go investigate. Uh, is this something you really want to do, Latham? I don't want to make you uncomfortable at all. Hey, I'm going to get my dicks up. You don't have to twist my arm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're all done. There's only one thing left to do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that'll be 30 minutes, and then a tip. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> So we found Latham an escort, and she was the sweetest lady. She explained how the whole thing is legal in Australia. Then we all left the room, and I'll let Latham explain what happened next. Fuck yeah, dudes! It was a success. Yes, success. Awesome. Twice. And how long did it take to get the first one done? About 20 seconds. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> While this was happening, Scott took a photo of Vinny outside the door. <laughs> Makes me look like the biggest creep. I love Latham so much, and his dream is to become independent. So he's raising money to buy a van that he'll actually be able to drive himself. And please find the link to his GoFundMe in the description to this video. I fucking love you. Dude. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that was awesome. And Latham was kind enough to return the favor by giving me his own pee bottle, which I cherish. I'm not like a really extravagant, flashy guy, but at all times I will be flossing my pee bottle. See the liquid on the floor that's dripping everywhere he walks? What is that? <laughs> <laughs> That pee bottle Latham gave me really does leak, and I have been using it on private jets. And man, the shows on this trip have been incredible. Like the one here. Show after show after show. I mean, dude, I love Australia. We've seen some pretty badass stuff too. Like, dude did a huge portrait of me with over a thousand Rubik's cubes and then tipped it over onto me. Three, two, one, go. I mean, fuck. A Rogue Pixel on Instagram. You're the man. It's been nonstop out here. This guy posted on Instagram that he had tattoos of the jackass guys all over his leg. So I was like, of course I'm gonna tattoo my signature on the guy. So you guys now know to post before I get to your city if you've got some compelling reason to meet me. At this point, I'm traveling with like four other guys. I've got Jeremy, Isaac, Scott, Vinny. Scott Randolph turned 40 on this trip. So of course we got him a cake, a jar of Vegemite with candles jammed into it. And Vegemite's disgusting, by the way. <laughs> you gotta get it down. <laughs> I can't say enough about my crew and how much I love them. And they're all sleeping in hotels every night while I'm sleeping in this little RV, which I love. Fucking beer girls over here. Got my fold up bicycle, I whip it out and go riding around. And I love my folding bicycle. Thank God they've got a whole store dedicated to just that. I'm losing my mind. Worth mentioning that this trip is not even over yet, but when it is, we're going to the United Kingdom next and tickets are on sale, everybody. So if you think you can handle it, then go to stevo.com and book your tickets. Now I might throw a little secret in here that I'm not supposed to. I'm taping my bucket list special in London. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. <laughs>